Hi everyone! Hello guys! I'm Cindy, Mrs. B. My name is Mado, Mr. B. And, and we are Mr. and Mrs. B of Moss Design, Design House. House. For the first time, we are going to be home fluffing in a high-rise condominium. Oh my god, nightmare. In, in one of the most progressive financial and lifestyle district in the Philippines. So, ano, ready na tayo? No choice, but we're go. <laughs> Our client for today is someone who's very special for us. We've worked with her for the past 10 years. She's been a, a very good partner. Our client is Apples Eberine. She is, to me, a woman of substance. She's not only a model, she's a mother, a very stylish and sophisticated woman, but she's also a visionary and a maven in her field, making her the head of public relations in one of the country's multinational companies. Alam mo, si Apples, lady boss yan eh. Kaya nagkakasundo kayo yung dalawa. <laughs> Actually, I'm very nervous about this because, you know, at Moss events, we've worked with her numerous times here and abroad for the past 10 years. Apples is also known in the industry to be someone who aims for perfection. She expects the best from her partners because, you know, she always works with the best. Which is... Mm -hmm. This is the first time we are going to work with her yeah. as a client for an interior design project. More so, it's her home. So yes. it's something very personal for her. Okay, so we had a briefing with Apples and what we have to do is actually her dining area and her living room space, yeah, right? Room. So she gave mandatories on these and these are important for us because these are the ones that the whole story will revolve on. So in her living area, she had key pieces that she wanted us to keep, right? And that's her um, entertainment cabinet that she bought uh, recently. It was a it was a quarantine purchase, she said. Mm -hmm. And it's this beautiful mustard geog, very chinoiserie print. And she also had this lamp and chase lounge that she had a good story about, the right? This mm -hmm. rattan one. In her dining area, there is this table that she had invested on and this drop light na Murano. Drop light that was na Murano. And of course, the most important detail where we feel like we had to really incorporate is this twall print by her foyer because she's she really loves twall. So we're giving apples a modern French eclectic space. This is your main color palette. Um, I like to have the gold there because the gold has a, it's on a color family as yellow. And that's parang the color of the sofa that we're looking at. Parang it's more of like a silverish blue, gray kind of color. Floor layout, okay. The major long apps that we changed for your floor layout is that we're moving the, you know that that sexy rattan. I don't know, I found that long in, in LRI and I liked it, so I bought it. <laughs> it's nice naman. I moved it lang to the other side because I feel like it's such a good accent piece for it to be facing your back when someone enters. Uh, so that and, I don't mind. And then the Ottoman. Para lang, you know, it's more it's more uh, freed up space when you're in between the dining and the sofa. Before the lockdown, the sofa was against the window and I didn't have a TV. Right, right. But because of the lockdown, the kids wanted a TV in the sala. I, I'm not a TV, big TV person eh. Right. So I only bought the TV over the lockdown. Okay, so this is the perspective. I made two options because the first one would be on another color story. But what we want to do on the left side would have your moldings on the wall. Paren. So, para lang, it, it, this one is sort of like the back of the sofa is highlighted. My story about the wallpaper, because initially I wanted it print. But this was before you mentioned you wanted to keep that wall print. So I don't want to have naman two different kinds of print in a space that is not so big. The idea is that 
um, all the upper wall consistently yan once you enter the door is already on that texture. I felt like we wanted to add something that is on the, on the sides of the cabinet. Which is parang a shelf, a, a, a two-tower shelf that will put, you know, cute curated stuff that you have. I wanted to change your dining chair to this. I like the blue. Yeah, ako rin. It, it's nice, no? Yep, happy with this thing. Okay, Let's yay! Let's just add a little bit of Right. Hola! <laughs> it's day one and we're here at Apple's Evergreen's home. What's our plan today? Um, so yeah, we're going to use our gamut now, right? So we can see the problems. But first priority is to um, fix the walls yes. and especially the floor. Because when we took the furniture, we had a lot of problems. When we did the ocular, we knew that there was a problem on the floor, but we didn't expect it to be that big of a problem. The primary concern there wasn't really the installation of the tile. The concern there was that whether or not we were going to be able to find a tile of the exact color of what was existing. And then the second one would be at the schedule of the chipping and the curing time. Because when you install tiles, you have to have Curing period. Very important. Yan. Very Kasi important. Maupulit na naman yung problema niya. So it's actually quite easy to know whether or not your tiles have air inside or kapak. Yeah, right? kapak. Kapak. Ito, you know it is. See, you have to hear the sound of it. Right? This is not installed. Alam mo na aangat to eventually. Versus this, somewhere here. <laughs> you see the sound difference? But what we're gonna try to do is to find an exact match of the tile. Yeah. It's never gonna be exact because tiles are bought batches. batches yes. Right? So usually when you purchase a tile, you have to have an excess of about 10% oh. to 15%. Because in the future, this will eventually happen. Okay, okay, we're going to discuss that. Yes, sir. We're going to find that team. We're deciding already. We have to choose because the actual wallpaper. So, wait lang. I need to have, I need to see the sun. Thank you so much. Or oak. The choice would be, because we have to look for a, or dessert mirage. Oh, I need this. <laughs> Basically, choosing the paint color for the base, the wall. Um, and I want to make sure that it's closest and the U is correct. Um, and the undertones are correct. So, this is the wallpaper and we're choosing Desert, Desert Mirage. That's 0231. So, yep. So here's a design tip for everyone because you have to consider this whenever you do a furniture layout. So there are two types of uh, furniture planning. So one is the unconventional and the conventional one. So in a conventional floor plan, it's usually presented with a lot of balance and symmetry. And it usually run, runs on the shape of the room. So if it's a rectangular one, usually it's a rectangular one and it's used for a formal living room setup. Now, for the unconventional one, which is usually my preference, personal preference, because it gives a lot of dynamics into a space, it doesn't necessarily follow the shape of the room. So it can go curved, you know, you can angle certain furnitures. It doesn't follow a very specific ruling when you do a floor plan. And um, I feel like it just gives a lot more personality to the space. Yep. Okay, so let me just do a quick of a walkthrough on what the space used to look like. So Apples had her layout of her sofa on the side. And um, she already had an unconventional layout, which is what I like. What I feel would create a lot of impact 
is to relay out her furniture to face this wall. Um, I feel like this wall is underutilized and I think it's going to be a good highlight as well. Having the three-seater sofa here and angling the rest of the pieces that she has. And I hope it's, I, and I'm sure it's going to look good. <laughs> After confident, talaga. <laughs> but yeah, um, yep, so that's the plan. Okay, so it's the end of day one, it's already one. five o'clock. And we're gonna be asked to leave by the building already. We've actually um, finished shipping, shipping, shipping off the floor. and we're starting pa rin, ano, to put the, to put the, tiles, the tiles already. Yeah. So we've already managed how we're gonna reposition the tiles because may ibang ibang color and may ibang hindi. So we're kind yeah. of just, I guess, gonna make a floor pattern out of it. Also, yung imperfection of wall, Pati. 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 Spell. <laughs> so we're gonna do the putty. We've already put it just to make sure that the wallpaper would be very smooth. So there are a lot of surprises that happened today. Um, we did, totally didn't expect the style uh, problem that was gonna come in. Mm -hmm. And there's simultaneously happening. Maraming nangyayari in our life now. We have other simultaneous projects. But kaya yeah. kaya ni Mr. Bian. Um, mm -hmm. I have my 100% trust in you. Yeah, they so it's day two, guys. Tapos na yung tiles. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Today we we're going to finish everything that has to do with the walls. So that includes this wallpaper, which I'm really excited to see because I know that it's gonna create a lot of impact to the room. Before it was just paint, but I love this wallpaper from Wall Crown because it's very fine. It's linen. And it has this like taupe color that's going to look nice. Yeah, so day two, everything's gonna be done regarding the walls. We're gonna start styling as well. And the furniture is also gonna come in by late afternoon. So by day three, it's just putting together and then reveal with apples. So we're excited. So we're quickly installing the rod. I mean, we're time pressured because the building won't allow us to install anymore after five o'clock. So what we're doing is, because existing na yung Roman shades ni Apple. So that's a wall treatment. That's, um, uh, that's a kind of wall treatment. So it's called Roman shades. And I wanted to soften it a little bit, so I'm adding a side break on the left and on the right. Um, the reason why I, we can't do a full curtain is because it has an aircon. My aircon protruding, yeah. so it's weird naman if we cut the curtain. So I said, I'm okay to retain the Roman shades, but at least have that side break lang to soften it a little bit. Okay, so here's a design tip in curating a wall gallery. Actually, this is something that I just came up with because I realized in the process of me doing curation of wall galleries, I follow pala this rule. I didn't even realize it. But it's actually by this Dutch artist um, whose name is Piet Mondrian. And I follow the principle of the Trafalgar Square or composition series of her of his paintings and that's basically um, squares of blue yellow and red and it runs on certain grids that have you know very they they sort of like add up into this different types of squares you have to do this imaginary grid and sort of like position them making sure that they all run on on alleys or certain aisles that are semi equal. We lay down everything on the ground first and see how we position them because you know once you drill that that um, wall there's no turning back so you have to make sure you do that just to mock it up. Well we're debating. Debating kung bagay ba yung pula o sa... These are Apples' mandatory pillows. So you really have to put it in. Bagay, bagay, bagay tayo na lang. 
Cheesy mo talaga. Cheesy ako eh. What's gonna happen when the etagere comes in tomorrow on day three? Um, initially, the plan was remember when you we were talking about it, and even when I told Apples, it was gonna be right beside yeah. the entertainment cabinet. But now that I'm looking at the space, I feel like it's really perfect take for lang, this. Take lang. What is etagere? Etagere. The etagere or shelf is a French set of hanging or standing open shelves for the display of collections of objects or ornaments. This one that we did for apples is a custom-made piece from Moss Manila Home. So we'll see you guys for tomorrow. It's day three <laughs> and it's my favorite day because this is where all the arte comes in. The moss magic. And the moss magic happens here. Tapos na the walls. Diba? Tapos na lahat. Tapos na yung, nag na cure na yung, yung ano, na cure na yung uh, tiles. tiles. And yung wall, finished na siya. Tapos wala na problema sa wallpaper. We can put the furniture already. Yeah, this is better than yesterday. So here's another design tip when curating table vignettes or shelf vignettes because usually you have a lot of things mm. that you want to put on a center table but a lot of people don't know how to compose it and put it together. I'm gonna do a very quick tip on how to curate your center table. I divide the table into sections so Right now, I'm going to divide it into four sections. So one, two, three, four. So just make an imaginary grid of that. So you have to kind of like think already what to put in those four sections. So for this one, coffee table books are really a staple for coffee, for coffee tables. And I will put on my second quadrant a bowl here just to kind of like break it. And then on my third quadrant, I will put a tray. But these are air plants that I want to put inside the bowl because they don't, I mean, I don't want to display an empty bowl. And then on my fourth and last quadrant, I'm going to put another book. Trays are always the wisest um, thing to own when you have a lot of these small knickknacks. So, for the candles, um, I'd like to always put it on a tray just so it looks more organized and composed. This says I'm gonna put on top of the tray. Always think of different heights and levels. So this one is giving me the highest point and this one is giving me the midpoint. So this is something that she owns. She was the elegant Filipina in 2018. And I wanted to just always put that here. Remember that the center pe a center table always needs to tell a story. When you look at it on top view, it's divided like this. So we have this in the chair. So I'm going to create vignettes here again. So very similar to the center table. On the top layer, I'm putting a stack of books. Um, whenever I use books, I am very particular on the spine. I feel like the spine needs to be in theme and in color. So I always go with either black or, or this, you know, very neutral tones. And then I put in this nice flourish vase, vase, and put in some nice blooms that are fresh, by the way. So we get a lot of our accessories from Flourish and they have super nice things. So they're really my, my go-to place. And then for the second layer, we're changing the dynamic. So books are horizontal. We're doing vertical for this. You know, you just have to be very clever on your bookends. You don't have to buy bookends. So think of what you have. So this one is a nice glass cloche again. And this really cute coral red candle holder that 
serves as a book end. So then you already have a book end. This is another stack of books that I want to put in. So always arrange them by length and height so pattern decreasing if they go smaller. And a nice mirrored box. Vignette making is all about layering and all about giving heights. And a good contrast would be this really nice shell onto the mirror and then this nice Pilandisha black. There! So we're doing the same thing on the other side. We, I wanted it to be symmetrical. So the hydrangea on, on the other side is, you know, is symmetrical. So there. You know, as an interior designer, when you design a space, it's really not about you. It's not about what I want, but about what your client wants. It's about not about my preference, but what my client prefers and what fits her lifestyle. But I think this one is very special because it's also my aesthetic. I mean, we jived so well in uh. terms of what we both wanted. And I think it reflected and showed a lot in her space. We wanted to tone it down a little bit and change how the room felt. In zebra. And that zebra, that beautiful zebra yeah. area rug that just felt very perfect because of the tone was browns, the right? So it was good instead of it being the black white that was usual. And then now we move to the dining area. This plate, beautiful plate that was kind of like this very French artsy vibe in different colors and these were from Marielle by Home Manila. When everything was put together, I felt it's so good how cohesive it became. Happy ka ba? Basa happy ka, happy ako. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, getting emotional! Oh, it's so beautiful! First of all, I really love that Cindy used a lot of blue and white, some of my favorite stuff. And hydrangea, she knows how much I love hydrangeas. And she moved this here, I never even thought of doing that. And she just has this way of pulling things together that makes a space so beautiful. I'm actually feeling a bit overwhelmed and i've always wanted this from the very beginning i actually called her now like months ago even before i asked her to fix this space i'm like cindy i need something different in the house and then i didn't even see it and then here it is i didn't know how this was gonna turn out actually because i was hesitant because my dining table was already marble so i was telling her how will it be if everything's kind of hard and I'm this kind of feminine girl? And then it just... Oh my god. Even the chair is standing out now. It was positioned differently before. I don't know how Cindy and Mada do it, but they're just magic. They're just really, really, really magic. Hi! <laughs> 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 I was emotional because my home is my sanctuary. I will not let just anyone touch it and change it. Only the people who are closest to my heart. So Cindy and Mado, I've worked with them for more than 10 years. We've traveled together, you know. I've given them probably the hardest time sometimes, but they get it because they're both such perfectionists. 
So when I entered and I saw how Cindy transformed my home, I just felt so overwhelmed because I knew she put her heart and soul into it because she knows me as a human being and as a friend. We got three days of this to transform my home into this. is magic. Oh, it's so amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. When we saw her reaction, and she was crying. Crying and jumping. And for jumping, joy. So actually. Para... Parang nabunutan ka na na eh, di ba? I know, parang all this nervousness that I was feeling was worth it. Like, yeah. and it got all wiped away. Parang nawala lahat, di ba? Ay, yung pawis ko parang pumasok sa loob ko eh. And your malangs! Yay! Oh my God! Nang ako pala nakita! Sorry! This is really malangs! Nang may malangs! So this is really special for me because uh, Mr. Malang is one of our good friends. I have some artwork from him that's all personalized so most of those are dedicated to me so we had this parang exhibit with the paper plates he even put an apple this one i would give him a gift for christmas he would return it like this oh. so he would use the box that i used as a gift and draw his art and then tell me that's your christmas gift so this wall you made it so special I know. we were like oh. okay so most magic for me on a professional level is how they really transform my events to make them wonderful experiences for all our guests. On a personal note, most magic is Cindy and Mado coming into my life making it better, uplifting it, and making it more beautiful. Thank you for everything, really. I think more than us doing your home, I think it's having to work with you for so long. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> I mean, and, and, you know, having to work with you for so long and, um, and learning. I think, I think she keeps on pushing us mm -hmm. um, out of our comfort zone. I mean, guys, in a good way. And um, I think I've learned so much from you through the years. And she would always say, "Pareho ado kami ng taste." But I think it's really me learning a lot from you. Yes, we did it with love, but I think most important, we really did it for you. Okay, so open ko na. Si mahal na mahal turn. Kasi hindi na naman siya makasali. Masig. Thank you, and I love that now my home has been touched by Moss. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We love um, reading your comments. Yep. Diba? So, if you have comments, just write it down. Yeah. Click on the <gasps> notification bell. Click. Dito ba doon? Dito? <laughs> Click on the note. Ka na naman eh. Click on the notification bell and subscribe to the button below, whichever that is. So thank you everyone thank you for watching. Again, I'm Cindy. I'm Mado. And thank you for watching Mr. and Mrs. B of, of Moss Design, Design House. House. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Yay!